KTM Super Duke GT Review and Price 2017 The GT brings a host of electronics previously unavailable on the SDR, including a semi-active suspension, cornering ABS, cruise control, heated grips and KTM's first quick shifter. The GT also receives as standard equipment electronic tire pressure monitoring, self-canceling turn signals, and lead cornering lights. The Super Duke R is blessed with one of the greatest motorcycle engines of all time, and the GT gets a revised version of KTM's 1301 cubic centimeters V-twin engine. It's purported to push out the same 173 crank horsepower and 106 lbft of torque as the SDR, but it hits its torque peak 1000 revs sooner, 6750 rpm, and is said to have no less than 86 lbft available at just 3250 rpm. Credit a new cylinder head with narrower intake ports and reshaped combustion chambers. All that said and we haven't yet gotten to the new bones of the GT. The headlight is pushed forward and mounted on a nylon composite bracket that also supports the sharply angled fairing, windscreen and the VDO instruments we're accustomed to seeing on KTM's fuel capacity is upped from 18 liters to tour worthy 23. 6.1 gallons. At the rear, a bespoke subframe is built from aluminum tubes, a structure that supports a longer pillion saddle and integrated mounts for the saddlebags developed internally by KTM rather than using off-the-shelf bags. The panniers are optional in Europe but standard in North America. Smooth deceleration is aided by a slipper clutch and by the system combining a bit of rear brake when the fronts are applied, actuating the rear brake doesn't apply pressure to the fronts. Further help can be provided by the optional, $200, motor slip regulation system which slightly lifts the throttle plates to prevent the rear wheel from locking during sloppy downshifts. MSR levels are like TC, tied to the three ride modes, so they can't be set independently to suit rider preference. Speaking of high speeds, it's worth mentioning KTM has established a speed limit for riding the bike when equipped with saddlebags. If you recall from our Epic 9 Bike Sport Adventure shootout last year, we experienced some weave when caning the 1190 Adventure and 1290 Super Adventure at speeds above 100 miles per hour when fitted with panniers. For the GT, KTM says speeds should be kept below 113 miles per hour with the bags. I was able to exceed 125 miles per hour without any stability issues. No, I didn't attempt to set the cruise control. As with the SDR, the GT is equipped with a WP steering damper. While the GT's MSRP hasn't yet been set, it's expected to retail right around the $20,000 mark when it becomes available in the US in September or October. At that price, it'll be about $2,800 more dear than its older brother. And while one certainly could tour on a Super Duke R by tossing on some bags and a windscreen to create a facsimile of the GT, you'd have to do without highly desirable features like active suspension, cruise control, adjustable wind protection and tire pressure monitoring. Thanks for watching.